Hi, what's up guys? Uh, I got a question from somebody who's really struggling with uh, feeling lonely during COVID and um, they're having second thoughts about wanting to go back to their ex, but they came out from a toxic relationship just before the lockdown. Um, there was no question really, but this person was sharing their thoughts and, you know, dilemma of whether they should try to reconcile with their ex or what they should do. Um, I don't know how many of you are struggling with the same issue, uh, but in case you are, I thought I'd make a little video to help you think this through. Um, let me just say at the outset that it's it's not a good idea to make any sort of big life altering decisions right now during the lockdown because these are somewhat exceptional times and all of us are 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 not our natural selves and you know we we're obviously not making um, sound decisions considering everything in mind so i would say please refrain from doing anything drastic or, or anything unexpected right now um at the same time i understand those of you who are living on your own um, you know uh, must be terribly terribly lonely Please use this time to pursue some sort of interests or uh, hobbies, watch movies, uh, write, read, uh, you know, do something to distract yourself and keep yourself engaged, um, doing something that's going to consume a lot of your energy, but obviously something that you absolutely enjoy. Um, but please don't make any decisions that could that could change the course of your life. Um, with respect to answering this particular question, if you should go back to your ex. Um, this is what I'm going to say, right? You made a decision at some point of time saying, this was enough. You don't want to have to go through this any longer. Now, go back to that point of time. Ask yourself, what are the things that hurt a lot that absolutely did not work for you? Make a list of those things. Ask yourself today, you know, could have been three months, three years, whatever, right? Um, ask yourself, what has actually changed you know what has changed from the other end what has changed from your end okay uh, has anything changed at all are you better equipped today to handle that situation and if so how and lastly ask yourself is this the best course of action for you to take not just today but even five years from now for instance right random time period Ask yourself if this is the best decision to make. If you get a wholehearted answer after answering all of these questions, that it is the right decision for you to go back in time and actually turn that decision around, hopefully the other person is also willing to sort of, you know, make this work again with you. Um, then you should absolutely like uh, go back to your ex or, you know, go back and try to fix that relationship. But if the answer is no, if the answer is remotely no, um, Pay attention to that. Uh, pay some heed to that because um, obviously when time flies, everything feels sweeter in retrospect. Nostalgia is a little bit of a bitch. So it always makes you feel like times back then were great. So you always have to treat nostalgia with a pinch of salt. Um, so... Ask yourself very honestly, if you have a good answer as to why you need to go back and fix a decision you made, do so. Otherwise, only look to move ahead from where you are. Don't look back. Now, it's easier said than done. Um, but the best way that I have found to deal with a breakup or, you know, a bad relationship that ended or, you know, being able to not get over your exes as well. Grief, mull over the pain that you felt. Allow yourself to fully feel everything that you felt, right? If you felt betrayal, if you felt rejection, if you, if you felt like you didn't have a fair share of the deal, whatever you felt, right? Whatever you felt that made you feel like ending a relationship, indulge in that feeling, mull in that feeling, at least for a day or two. Allow yourself to cry, scream, do whatever, right? Um, I think a lot of times we don't allow ourselves to feel and we are in a hurry to kind of bury those feelings and pretend like those feelings don't exist because they make us feel better, they make us feel stronger. But the reality is 
having those feelings somewhere hidden in the corner of ourselves only makes us weaker so it's always a great idea to actually deal with those feelings head on um and then slowly decide what you need to do with yourself based on those feelings rather than jumping up and say okay you know i i can deal with this you know i can totally deal with this i can move on from this rather than um trying to focus on jumping out of it asap focus on trying to deal with it focus on trying to break it apart and understand what what these feelings even are right um i think when you've spent sufficient amount of time grieving it and dealing with it they stay with you uh much longer those lessons stay with you much longer they they remind you of everything that your mind or body doesn't want any longer and then you actually you actually think of a way to actually move ahead now i know a lot of people you know like to sort of distract themselves by doing something else forgetting about it etc uh, you can do that right uh, momentarily it makes you feel good but remember that you have to deal with it at some point of time so if you feel like you can't deal with this alone and you know um, you want to do something about it go to a therapist or you know go to a counselor who can actually help you unwrap those feelings for you and help you talk about it so that once it's out there once your thoughts are out there and the open for you to actually look at and dissect you will be able to deal with it better um but i'm not a psychologist and I'm, i'm not a psychotherapist but if you feel like there is any benefit in being able to talk to um a third person who is um, an outsider or someone who is not biased because of your situation please feel free to book a session with me um um and i'll you know provide a link below where you can actually book a session um um to speak with me so um i really hope um you can resolve those feelings on your own which would be wonderful but if you can't do seek out help um in 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 any way possible either through friends or even a professional and i hope uh you come out of this situation much stronger because we're all feeling incredibly terribly lonely in our own ways and uh, if you have the means to deal with it you should absolutely do so Thank you.